Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 40 Password 6 Digits. I'm starting a new FLA, keeping the default settings of ActionScript 3, 550 for my width and 400 for my height. If you have any questions or comments, you can contact me at flashthingy at hotmail.com. And we're going to make a password to allow you to progress into a into your program, into your game, for example. I'm going to make the stage size 50. And this first layer I'm going to call input text, I-N-P-T-X-T, -T, input text. Select frame 1. Pick up my text tool. Open my properties panel. Make sure input is selected. And I'm going to go with uh, Times New Roman. I can find it down here. Times New Roman. And I got around 12 points. And I'm using the color of blue. While I'm at it, I'm going to embed it. Click Embed here. And I went upper, lower, numbers, punctuation. And over here, is, it says OK. You can't see it. Now I'm going to just make a small text box and put six zeros in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to actually make this 100%. There. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. Call it box, B-O-X, like the exterior box that we'll see. Uh, pick up the rectangle tool. I don't want any fill. Click the fill bucket and go up here so I have no fill. Open the properties panel and for my stroke I want a blue and I want it to be about three pixels. Let's try that. And make sure I'm on this box layer. Make a box around that. There's my input box where I put my password and just center my digits. Lock that layer. I'm locking both layers. I'm opening, selecting the top layer. Insert a layer, call it Action Script AS. Open the action panel and type, 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 type this code. Stop, STOP, open, close, bracket, semicolon. Stage, period, add, event, listener. Small s, small a, capital E, capital L. All turns blue if it's done right. Open bracket, event, E-V-E-N-T, capital E, period. Enter, underscore, frame, all capital letters, turns blue. Comma, ent, frame. I use it like capitals on the, so it's going to be capital E-N-T, capital F-R-A-M-E. Close bracket, semicolon. Here's the function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, turns purple. I want ent frame here. You can copy this and paste it if you like. Open bracket, E colon event, capital E-V-E-N-T, turns blue. Close bracket, colon void. Void and function are the same color. There's the open curly bracket for the function. There's the close curly bracket for the function. And I'm going to see if I type in a certain number, if I can trace something. So in between these two curly brackets, I'm having an if, if, turns purple, open bracket, guess, underscore, text, G-U-E-S-S, -S, capital G, underscore, T-X-T. We have to give that text, input text, a name, period, T-E-X-T, -E that turns blue, equals, equals, two equal signs means we're testing something, Open bracket, and here's the code I'm going to have, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just to, to do this tutorial. Close bra bracket, period, two string, small t, capital S, that will turn blue if it's right. Open bracket, close bracket, close bracket, okay. There's the open curly bracket for this if, there's the close curly bracket for this if. And inside is this statement, trace, T 
T-R-A-C-E, turns blue, open bracket, quotation mark, write it into your one. I'm just going to say equal, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. There's the closed curly bracket for my if. So at the end, I have two closed curly brackets. So let's copy this name. Right click copy. Go back to the main timeline. Lock all the layers. Unlock this input text layer. Select frame one. I can see this blue with the squares. If not, pick your selection tool up and highlight it. Open up the properties panel. And this is that input text. And paste in that instance name. So now let's see if this works. Going to highlight this and type one, two, two, lu, lu, lu. Didn't didn't trace because I don't have the right code. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six this time. And because I have the right code, it says equal. That was my trace word. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select this box layer. Insert a layer and call it game. This would be where your game is or whatever you're putting in this next set of frames to, to do. And select this second frame, right click, insert blank keyframe, and pick up your text tool and right here write your game. G-A-M-E, game, or whatever. Okay. Now, because we're going to jump into this second frame when we have the right password, um, if we don't bring this input text into this second frame, we'll get an error. An error. So on this input text layer, second frame, right click, insert keyframe. And let's make this 25%. And we don't want to see this input text when we get to this second frame. So select it, pick up your selection tool, highlight it, get the crosshairs and drag it off the stage. Let's go back to the actions panel open the actions panel up and here where we're tracing G O T O go to capital A N D capital S T O P or open bracket two close bracket semicolon so now we're going to tell it to go to frame two and stop when we have the right code so let's test this no errors Highlight this. If I go one, two, three, four, five, seven, that don't work. Six and game over or whatever. So that means your password works. Now that wouldn't be a really good way to put in a password because a person could just increment from start at one and go up, keep just keep counting and incrementing, and eventually he'll hit your password and jump right into your game. So what you want to do is to give it a case of where he needs to put a password, then hit a button. So let's lock all these layers. Select this game layer. Insert a layer and call it button. And select frame one. I'm going to make my stage bigger. Pick up your rectangle tool. I'm going to go with a blue stroke and I'm going to go with a red fill. And I'm going to make it a little rectangle. There it is. Pick up my selection tool, highlight it, modify, convert it to a symbol. I'm going to use a movie clip. Enter E N T E R underscore M C. I'm going to copy that. Right click, copy it. It's still highlighted. Open my properties panel and paste it in here for an instance name. Double click. Now I'm inside of that movie clip. Call this the rectangle. R-E-C-T. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. Call it text. T-E-X-T. -E I believe the text is this fill color. So I want to have a blue for my fill, pick up the text tool, making my stage a little bigger, and under here I'm writing and make sure it's static text. 
and 18 points looks good e n t e r enter pick up my selection tool and just put that on top there and using my arrow keys I'm centering it back to scene one lock all layers select the actions layer open the actions panel now I need some action script for my my button so right after this curly bracket put a couple enters and type in this code type 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 enter underscore MC that's that movie clip button we just made period add event listener small a capital E capital L turns blue open bracket it's a mouse event capital M capital E turns blue period click all capital C L I C K comma and I'm calling it start capital S T A R T close bracket semicolon and here's the function F U N C T I O N S T A R T capital S that's the name of it open bracket event E V E N T small e colon it's a mouse event capital M capital E close bracket colon void void and function same color and an open curly bracket for this function and the last thing we need is another close curly bracket for this mouse event click for our enter button so for this open curly bracket down here where there's two just add another one so now there's three down here I'm going to do an auto format straighten it out a little bit and see if there's any obvious errors there's none so this time it should work test movie test and I'll put in a false code one two three four six seven doesn't work one two three four five six and it does work and let's get rid of this button here to make sure that it's not being seen it's not part of our game so right here under this layer where the button is make sure that this is a a um, converted to a keyframe so I have two keyframes here and on that frame 2 just as we did with the input text unlock it on frame 2 go down to 25 percent and just grab that button and take it off the stage let's just test this once more one two three four five six enter and you're into your game I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn